your daily 180, 180 seconds of pure Bible study. Welcome to this, your daily 180 Bible study. We're so thrilled that you've joined us and count on the fact that you'll continue to participate with us in this Bible study. Get your Bibles, get a piece of paper, maybe something to write with and take some notes and turn your Bibles over to the book of James. We're in the midst of a study in the book of James. And verse number two, we're going to back up and I want us to, to think about this idea this week. James says, My brethren, count it all joy when you fall into various trials. How in the world can you count it all joy? You know, every word of Scripture is important. And every paragraph and every sentence in the Bible is of significance. But there are certain passages at certain times that seem to be especially important. And such is the case with this particular passage, James chapter 1 and verse 2. I say that because it seems as if we're living in a, such a stressful, difficult time. Let me share some, some facts with you. This comes from a book called The Snapping of the American Mind. The author is David Cupelin. Suicide has surpassed car crashes as the leading cause of injury death for Americans. Stars and Stripes reports that more active duty U.S. soldiers have been dying by suicide than in combat. One in 10 girls uh, reportedly engages in self-harm in the form of cutting their bodies with a knife or a razor. Now, what in the world is going on? As a matter of fact, let me share one more statistics with you. One third of the nation's employees suffer chronic debilitating stress. And James says, count it all joy when you fall into various trials. You know, one thing about it, we may not all experience the same kind of stress, but all of us experience stress. All of us experience problems in life. Maybe the doctor says, your child has a terminal illness. Or the one you love says, I don't love you anymore. And over in Philippians chapter 4 and verse 4, Paul would say, rejoice in the Lord always. How do we do that? Well, we're going to be talking about this this week. We're going to be talking about how we can find joy in the midst of trials. We're going to be talking about how to find joy in whatever situation we're in. And we need to understand, it's not just a good suggestion. It's a command. And if it's a command, it's something that we can do. Thank you for being with us today. And join us tomorrow for your daily 180 Bible study.